Hello and welcome to Working with Wonder. I'm starting on the front web page of wonder.cdc.gov so you can see where we're going to. I am going to go to the Multiple Cause of Death database. We're going to go to the provisional database, not the finalized, so 2018 to last week. This is going to work for the finalized as well, but I just want to demonstrate it on the smaller database. So we have to agree to a bunch of stuff. We're not going to violate anybody's privacy. And so we can see the results. I'm going to choose to aggregate at the year level. Um, you know, before we start, uh, let's just before we start doing cause of death, let's just look at the number of deaths per year. So I just aggregated the year. Let's look at number of deaths of year 2018 through 2023. Um, 2.8, it bumped up to over, you know, 3.38 million, 3.46 million, and 3.3 in 2022, and then back to 3.1 in 2023. If we look at our rates, the rates were like crude rate, what's number uh, died divided by the total population is, you know, 800 some high 800s, then over a thousand in 2020 and 2021 during high pandemic down to the 900s in 2022 and 2023. So this is what we're going to compare against when we're looking at my examples for doing multiple causes of death. We can always go back to the request form to adjust what we're requesting. Um, so these are numbered sections. Uh, the ag what you're aggregating by is in section one. Uh, and the section we're interested in, and I'm going to scroll down because I want to show you the, in the section we're not interested in, which is section six. Underlying cause of death. Underlying cause of death is the one and only one main cause that really, really kills you. Um, this is what we're wanting to get at is multiple cause of death, which is any of the 20 possible blank, and they don't fill in all 20 usually. Um, usually it averages about three to four causes of death on a death certificate. Um, so underlying cause of death, we don't want to do that. We're going to do multiple cause of death. And you'll see there's two empty boxes here that we can fill. I'm going to start just with filling one box, and I want to try using multiple causes of death. I'm going to put in, and I'm going to use the 113 cause list, and I'm going to use this because this describes causes of death more in the way we're used to. And I want to pick cancer, which they call malignant neoplasm, so cancer and heart disease, because these are the top two rankable causes of death in the US. Um, and I'm gonna put both of them in this box. So go down to diseases of heart. Medio, major cardiovascular diseases is like the entire chapter and it includes stuff like stroke. Um, I don't want to include that. Stroke is its own thing that's to the side. So heart disease and, and diseases of heart. Now I put them in a box together. When they're in that one box together, that works as or. So anything that has cancer or heart disease on the death certificate is going to show up. So basically anywhere on the death certificate doesn't have to be the underlying cause of death. I'm going to edit out the amount of time it takes for it to find it. Just to let you know, it took about 30 seconds for that database query to get back to me. So now what we're looking at, let's look at the counts of deaths we're getting back. 1.78 million in 2018, it gets over 2 million. And remember, what was the total deaths looking like for those years? This is a really high percentage of the total deaths in the US for that years that either cancer or heart disease shows up anywhere on the death certificate. Now, but what if I wanted to figure out if it was cancer and heart disease? showed up on the death certificate. That's why there are two boxes in that area, and this is how you do it. Let's go back to the request form. Go back down to seven. 
Unfortunately, they don't have a way to move it back. So I'm going to clear it. I'm going to put malignant neoplasms in the first one. So use that first clicky box. Find my heart diseases and use the lower clicky box. So I have cancer and heart disease. So this query actually took longer to get me results. So this one took about 45 seconds to come back. And we can see these numbers are a lot smaller. Uh, so before we were getting at the height of COVID, 2 million of the either cancer or heart disease anywhere on the death certificate. But for this one, we were asking heart disease and cancer has to be on the death certificate and we're just getting you know it's less than 200,000 so this is you know orders an order of magnitude smaller that we're looking at here so you can see the distinction in how you query the database so you've got to be careful in how you're doing this when you're trying to get data from wonder i've seen this before especially sorry when people were making the mistake of underlying cause of death versus multiple cause of death. And I've often recommended uh, for uh, cause of death someone's really interested in to query it for both underlying cause of death and multiple cause of death to kind of see where it might be in the um, pecking order. Uh, some certain conditions are very likely to show up on the death certificate, even if it's not an underlying cause of death. That's good to know, um, just from a population health standpoint. Uh, and it's good to know some people have only been looking at this limited database 2018 through say 2023. It is a good idea to go back to the one that goes all the way back to 1999. And you can get even older, but going back to 1999 is probably good enough for natural causes of death and um, might miss that there are longer term trends that are going on with certain causes of death it's not just the pandemic um, that might be doing things as it were so try this multiple cause of death you might see some interesting disparities i picked something that i knew was going to uh, cause some very big differences in numbers. So have fun working with wonder.